YouTube, Laughing Pikachu here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's vi vi video, I can't even say video. I that's how excited I am, guys. Like you know, I'm excited when I can't even say the word video properly. Anyways, today we are going to be opening up something so epic, so beautiful, so custom, so I don't even know what else to say. It's just I'll I'll just I'll just show it to you. It is none other than a custom. Laughing Pikachu booster box. Oh yeah! All right, it it like it doesn't look that good, but, but guys, I I like actually tried it. This, this is like one of those things where like you picture it in your head and you like start designing it, and like in your head it looks like epic, and then you like end up putting it out, and it, it kind of looks goofy. I, I'm not gonna lie, I, <laughs> it looks bad, but that's okay. I tried, guys. Clearly, art is not my forte, but we got like laughing Pikachu right there. We got the Pikachu logo right there, and then at the top of this, when we pop this. Up, um, at the top in a second, which I can actually do right now. Um, as you can see, when you pop it up, boom, we got, like, Laughing Pikachu up there as well. Just look at this, guys, and we can, like, stick the packs back in, and then, um, yeah, I'm excited about this, guys. We got 36 booster packs, and I tried really, really hard. Look at that, look at that go. Oh, my goodness, look at that thing. It's beautiful. Oh, my, it's, it's gorgeous. Look at that. Alright, sorry. Um, anyways. Like I was saying, um, I, I've been wanting to do this for a long time now. Uh, I made, like, a custom booster box opening video a while back. Um, the polls in that were just crazy, and ever since then, I wanted to do another one. So here we are, finally. And I think we have a really nice selection of, of packs. We've got some Stormfront. We've got, like, some really old-school packs as well. Um, and we also have some new stuff, like Steam Siege and stuff like that. I try my best to get a good variety of packs for your entertainment. Um, so hopefully we can get some awesome pulls. I know that uh, last time, whenever we opened up this stuff, we got, like, we, whenever, when we opened up the, the uh, previous... Um, custom booster box we got crazy pulls anyways uh, these are 10 so i think it's three and two i don't know we'll find out um but yeah here is a pack of diamond and pearl storefront i, I believe we have four different stormfront packs in, in in this booster box which is a lot of packs but i'm really excited about this um anyways um so yeah uh speaking of, oh pichu very cool i'm gonna sit that in the background um i think I believe there's a Pikachu in this set, actually. We have a Dusk Noir, Reverse Rare, Awesome, and a Staraptor, Regular Rare. Anyways, uh, let's see. We can make, like, different stacks. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. But look at this. This is gorgeous. Anyway, speaking of booster boxes, tomorrow I am going to be giving away, um, a Sun and Moon booster box. Um, I, you can find out more information about that, um, <clears throat> in the video that I post tomorrow. Um, uh, but yeah, I just want to let you guys know about that. And then what else? Uh, there's something else I wanted to say. Oh, um, today is the very last day to enter into the sun and moon uh giveaway video thing so if like the whole collection i'm giving away it's japanese sun and japan and collection sun and collection moon <gasps> holy cow second pack in mega gardevoir ex from steam siege this is a beautiful beautiful dual type with despair ray look at that oh my goodness beautiful psychic and fairy I just, I love, I love these, these dual type cards. They're just, they're so awesome. Look at that. Oh man, that's cool. All right. Um, I guess I can stick it over here. And then we got, I only have one of these. This is a sampling pack. I don't think these are super valuable, but I saw it. Um, a lot of these packs I got from like eBay. So hopefully they aren't like sketchy way. Oh, that came open really easily. That's really sketchy. Anyways, um. Let's see, uh, how do you even do this? Uh, I don't- Oh, there's a code card! I didn't know that these little things had code cards. This is a traitor challenge! Somebody let me know what you get in this- Oh, gosh. Let me know what you get in this thing, because I honestly have no idea what you get. So, hopefully it's something cool. We got a card list. Dun, dun, dun. There is the card- Oh, my, that's a- Huge, huge set. Anyways, toss that off to the side. We got Pharaoh Seed, Cub Chew, and Minchino. Minchino. Alright, and next up we got HS Undaunted. Look at that pack art. Look at that. That is gorgeous, guys. Like, that is complete beauty. And so we shall rip this guy open. You know what? I'm going to try and, like, conserve. Conserve? Conserve. I was going to. I was like. That's like my mixture of conserve and save. Conserve. We're just uh, turning into Shakespeare here, creating new words for the English dictionary. Alright, no. Um, anyways, Jifloon, Slugma, hit on me. I uh, skipped a Murkrow, Aeron, Eradicate, Unknown Muck, a Drifloon, a Reverse Common, and a Metagross, a Regular Rare. Alright. So, yeah, anyways, like I was saying, 
Uh, we got, we got, a, we got, what do we have? Uh, what was I talking about? I don't know what I was talking about. Oh, Collection Sun, Collection Moon giveaway. Uh, that's ending tomorrow. Um, let me know what you get in these codes. I don't know what else I was talking about. I got a lot of stuff on my mind, though. So, you know what? That's, oh, I was going to talk about Sun and Moon. Okay, so as far as, like, the pre-release is concerned, the, the place that I typically go for Sun and Moon pre-releases, um, I, I contacted them the other day. Oh, Hollow Bisharp, that is pretty stuff. Um, yeah, so I contacted them the other day and was like, hey, you know, I just wanted to make sure that you're still doing the pre-release because I've been, you know, I've been going to them for, like, two times now. Uh, this is, like, my second, this is, this would be, like, the third time, uh, that I would be going to them for, for a pre-release. Um, and so I was like, hey, you know, just want to make sure it's still open and all that good stuff. And I'm like, unfortunately, we don't do pre-releases anymore. Uh, we aren't, we weren't able to, you know, carry the Sun and Moon pre-release this time. And I was like, oh, well, that kind of sucks. So now I have to try and find a new pre-release place. Hold up, lack of focus. There you go. That's cool. We got three different attacks on that. Yeah, so I'm trying to find a new, like, pre-release place. By the way, look at this. Like, that is just freaking gorgeous. HS Undaunted. Um, I believe there's, like, a rape. Is this the set... I think there's level X's in this set, or maybe it's primes. I don't know. I'm not super, like, up to par when it comes to these older sets, but, um, I thought it'd be fun to open them. So, anyways, uh, yeah. So, I'm trying to find a new place to go to right now. Um, in my area, we have a very, very, like, limited amount of, you know, Pokemon card shorts. That's beautiful, by the way. Um, so hopefully I will be able to find one. Um, but yeah. So please wish me the best, guys. Hopefully I'm able to find something because I'm really looking forward to pre-releases. Oh my goodness, look at that platinum Arceus. I got. I think I have like a four or five platinum Arceus packs in here too. I got like just when it comes to the old we hold Pikachu. When it comes to the older packs in this box, I got a whole bunch of these things. Uh, like I said, I got them off eBay, though, so there is a chance that they're weighed, but I, I don't know, I, I'd like to think that they weren't, um, because I, I pray, I, I pray, I paid quite a bit for them, so I'm hoping that they are legit, um, but we shall see, we've got a Tangela Reverse and an Aero, Aerodactyl, I don't know why I said Aerodactyl, is it Aerodactyl? I don't know. Here is the Lugia pack from Heart Gold Soul Silver, this set right here, this set is one of my favorite sets, um, especially of the older sets, it's one of the ones that I'm, you know, the most hyped about, because there are legends in this set, legends are, like, basically, like, the old school full arts, like, they are the old style of full arts, because, like, the artwork, like, is on the entire card, uh, they don't have the fancy full art texture, but they are just beyond beautiful, um, and there's a Ho legend, uh, there is a Lugia legend, I believe there might even be another one, I'm not sure, uh, but this set is, is just fantastic. Unfortunately, we didn't just pull a, a regular, like, little vial plume out of this. Hold up. We got so many cards. Um, <clears throat> but that's okay. Anyways, so Steve, I don't know why I'm opening up all the packs so weird. Like, I usually just rip them open. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing today. Anyways, here's the Steam Siege code. Uh, we shall see. Can we get a Sycamore Full Art? I don't know, but let me just say this. It has been a while since I have opened up, like, 36 packs in a video, whether it be in a booster box or whatever. Um, it, you know, the last booster box I think I opened was an Evolution booster box right when the set released. Tax Croak, regular bear. Um, oh, we got Stormfront right here. Just look at these pack arts. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's definitely been a while since I um, have opened one of, one of these one of these, you know, booster boxes. Um, good news is, Sun and Moon, when that comes out, I should be getting a whole bunch, and that is gonna be releasing, what, February? So, less than a month away. Oh my goodness, I am just so excited. Look at that Starly, Voltorb, Magnemite, Conductive Quarry, 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 I don't know, that's cool. We got a Badoo, and a Gengar, oh wait, did I mess up? What the, I think I messed up the card trick. Anyways, we got a Gengar Rare, look at that, that is epic. Did a lot of the old school cards have like three attacks? Cause like, this is the, oh, maybe, maybe they just, three attacks was the thing back then. Cause like, this one has it too. Anyways, we also got a Warp Energy. What does this do? Warp Energy provides a normal energy when you attach this card from your hand to your active Pokemon. Switch that Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. That's complicated. We also have a Scyther level 11 because you know what? It's not just a it's not just a regular Scyther. It's a Scyther level 11. Anyways, um, this video is always already quite long. We are like what nine minutes in. All right, I'm gonna try and speed things up a little bit, but I I don't know. I also like want to take my time with these older packs. They um are definitely very hard to find these days. Um, 
Not, they aren't like super old like base set man that would be awesome like imagine one day if i could open a base set box that would be insane anyways we have a pro pass reverse rare beautiful and a porygon g porygon zg level 56 that's the name full right there porygon zg level 50 30 56 i couldn't even remember the number heart gold soul silver amphros the pack arts of heart gold soul silver are also a thing that i am a huge huge fan of I think they did a fantastic job with that set. I don't know why I like that set so much, but it's just, it's my set, you know? Like, if, if I were to fall in love with a set, like, especially the older ones, that is, it's one of my favorites. We got Girafferig, Centred, and we got Bill Nye the Science Guy. I know, just, just Bill. He's not Bill Nye the Science Guy. He's just a regular Bill. We got Starmie, Reverse, Uncommon, and a Persian. No, hold on, is this... Is this switch the same as like the typical switches, like the the current switches? Because if so, this might actually be like a valuable card. Speaking of which, because this is like um, this, oh, for some reason, whenever like the older versions of cards um get like reprinted as like newer cards, for some reason they always do well. Like uh, as far as like value is concerned, I guess people sometimes like the old nostalgic um. I don't know, cards, I don't know, who knows, but they're cool, I like them. Uh, we got a Drifloon, Larvesta, Apom, Yanma, Minky, Claw Fossil, Anorith, Persian, Anorith, a Blastodon, Bastiodon, Blastodon, Blastoise and Bastiodon together, Blastodon, beautiful, anyways, <laughs> I'm just kidding around, Blast, oh my goodness, I can't even say it! We got a reverse rare. All right, I'm just gonna move on. And we also got the Nido King. All right, we are almost halfway through the box. I am, I don't know, is it, are these good pulls? I don't know, it's hard to say because like in some of these older sets, like the hollows were like really hard to pull. Um, and like there were like just a couple of level X's in the sets or a couple of primes, like that was it. Like there wasn't anything too crazy. I know that, oh, I, I completely forgot about this. Some of these older sets had, um, they have like a, we got a Magneton Reverse, Uncommon, and a Drapion. Some of these older sets have, like, shiny Reverse Hollows, so we need to be watching out for that stuff. Look at this Rayquaza pack art, by the way. Like, oh my goodness, that is just beautiful. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Love this stuff. Anyways, we shall pull this open. Three and two. Um, and yeah, so, like I was saying, the older stuff, I don't know, the pull rates, they're, they were definitely not equiv- not, like, the same as what they are now, like, as far as, like, the chances of pulling ultra rares and stuff like that. Uh, we got Vaporeon, Vespaquin, and uh, what? Two Vespaquins right after each other. Let's stick the reverse in the background. All right, we got another Platinum Arceus. I believe there like are uh, are a whole bunch of different types of Platinum Arceus or Arceus level X cards in this set, if I'm not mistaken. And also, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, there are a lot of Pikachu cards in these sets. When I was picking the sets of, like, what to get off of eBay and stuff, I wanted to make sure to get ones where, like, there were really cool Pikachus. Like, you know, there's a Pikachu right there in the background because we just pulled it. <gasps> Lucky Egg! Oh my goodness, this all makes sense now! Wait, hold up! So, like, you know how in Pokemon Go they have, like, Lucky Eggs? At first I thought they were just, like, random things. But now, it turns out... They actually, they're like Pokemon tools. I did not know that. Did, did, all right. Take a minute right now in the comments. Did you know that Lucky Eggs were, had a card? I didn't know that was a thing. All right. I'm going to stick that back there and like read about it after the video because I totally did not know about that. Am I just bad at Pokemon and I just didn't know that? Or like, did you, did you guys know that? I don't know. You guys let me know. Like, I feel like people didn't know about that. Cause like, I thought when I was playing Pokemon Go, like, I thought Lucky Eggs, like, that was the first time I had heard about Lucky Eggs, but I'm just realizing that maybe they weren't, it wasn't the first time we we were seeing them. That's crazy. Anyway, Slugma, Hibonli, Murkrow, an Energy Exchanger, Radicate, Burn Tower, a Gligar, Reverse, and a Fortress. Fortress? Fortress? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, there's the first half of the box. Um, we're going to open up the second half as well. Um, overall, man, this is not looking too good. We got some cool reverse rares, don't get me wrong, but, like, we pulled... <laughs> we pulled a Mega and a Hollow out of 18 packs. What? What? Like, Hollows are was supposed to be at least, like, what, one in every three packs? And we've opened up, like, 18 packs, and we, we pulled two good things? I have a feeling... Have we pulled a single Hollow from one of the older packs? I don't think we have. Yeah, we haven't, because the Bisharp was from Steam Siege. All the good stuff so far has been from Steam Siege. The Mega Gardevoir was also from Steam Siege. What is the deal with this? Did I did I get did I buy some bad packs on eBay? 
I sure hope not, because this stuff is expensive, man. Anyways, we're gonna have fun anyways, uh, regardless of what is the case. And, like, the artwork on these things are just so cool. Like, oh, oh my gosh, look at these. Holy cow, hold up. I just realized we were out of focus there, but look, there's, like, two other dudes, and then we got Slowbro, and then we got a Vaporeon Reverse. Huge fan of these evolutions in these sets. All right, Steam Siege. Let's see. Maybe Steam Siege will bring us some good luck, because so far, we have been getting good stuff um, out of Steam Siege. Like, all the epic stuff has been coming from that single set. So, maybe... Oh my goodness, why was that so hard to open? I struggled. That was like super squeaky. Anyways, here we- oh my gosh. Well, I just spoiled that guy. Shh, don't, don't look at it. Don't look at it. All right, there you go. Here's the code. You guys didn't see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. What? There's a- there's something good in this pack? What? I, I would have never guessed. All right, I'm actually really excited about what we're going to get, guys. Focus! Fo like the, yo, it, it, make sure you're paying attention right now. We're about to pull something good. All right, we got Litleo, Dino, Hopip, Litwig, Meowth, Steelix, Spirit Link, Nidorino, Inerith, the reverse is Xerneas, I believe this is actually a good card with Geomancy attack, and oh my goodness, what, that is insane, look at that, holy cow, that is beautiful, the camera, like look at the camera right now, like look at the lighting, it's like freaking out, it's like the camera doesn't even know what to do, it's so shiny, look at that, oh my goodness, not only is it a shiny card, it's also a, a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> See what I did there? I'm so funny. Not. Anyways, um, that's actually really awesome. We got the Desknor with the Diamond and Pearl Stormfront pack. <clears throat> Ooh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Platinum Arceus. Look at that pack art. All right, sorry. Off topic. Um, let's pull this open. I'm, I'm in love with these older sets. Like, I don't know. It's just, there's, there's something about the artwork in these older sets. It's just... And they did a really good job of it. I don't know. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm still a huge fan of the artwork in, like, today's sets. But just look at that. How could you not love this? All right. I'm not a huge fan of that stunky. But, like, look at that Trico. Holy cow. That just, oh, man. It looks so awesome. They did a great job with that. Uh, one thing that I definitely have to give Pokemon credit for. I feel like we just pulled a Drifloon. Anyways, one thing I do have to give Pokemon credit for is they did a great job back in the day. Of, you know, making, like, really beautiful, awesome-looking promo cards, awesome cards and sets. Like, even the commons and uncommons. You know, even those simple cards, they put a lot of time and effort and energy into them. And also, the condition and the card quality is very, very good. Um, it's definitely um, a, a lot different than, you know, what we're seeing today. And, you know, obviously, the cards today have their own, you know, good good things to them as well. Like, for example, these older cards, that, which this is a reverse rare, by the way, and a uh, Rapidash. Uh, but, yeah, these old reverse foil patterns, like, they scratch, like, super easily. Um, so, that's definitely one complaint that I have heard um, a lot with, with these, um, these older packs, um, or these older sets, um, and so Pokemon has definitely created a better reverse foil pattern, um, so that it doesn't get scratched as easily and damaged as easily, um, uh, ooh, we pulled another Pikachu, yo, that's awesome, um, but yeah, I don't know, like, there's some other things that I, I kind of, you know, Pokemon has sort of lost over the years that they just, they are doing such a great job with, and I don't know, I, it's just, it's some interesting things to just, like, think about, I'm, I'm not at all trying to bash Pokemon here, I absolutely love Pokemon cards, I mean, obviously I'm gonna, if I'm gonna spend all this time and money opening up Pokemon cards, I, I probably like them quite a bit, right, um, but I don't know, it's just, Pokemon is something that I, I hold very dear to my heart, if, if that that sounds creepy and weird, but, like, seriously, like, I, I care about the success of Pokemon because, you know, I, you know, it's a card game that I would like to see, you know, my kids play eventually, or, like, something that I could play, you know, 20 years from now because it's fun, and I, I think that it's something that, um, a lot of, you know, it, it, it unites people in ways you would have never imagined, and so, I don't know, it's just recently Pokemon has been making some decisions, ooh, a, another Hollow Xerneas, very cool. Very pricey card as well, I, I believe. We got the reverse version of it just now. Uh, but anyways, like I was saying, Pokemon, um, you know, it, it's impacted us and you guys and just everybody in so many different ways. And it would be a, a true shame if, you know, this wasn't around, you know, in, in the future. Because there's so many things that people would be missing out on and wouldn't be able to experience all of this. Um, but recently, I don't know, Pokemon, I feel like they have really been taking advantage of the common consumer, releasing a whole bunch of products just to drain out our wallets, um, you know, also these cards are, like, very, very overpriced in my opinion, um, I mean, it's, like, essentially cardboard, and, you know, we get, like, what, ten pieces of cardboard in a booster pack, and they're, like, what, four dollars in the stores, 
like, I don't know, it, it just, it seems a bit crazy. They're, they're taking something that we enjoy and they're just trying really, really hard to make money off of us to a point where they're making us go broke, and I don't know. Um, not at all trying to, again, not trying to bash Pokemon, I absolutely love them. But I don't know, it's just, it's some interesting things to think about. I feel like, um, whether people voice their opinion on this or not, I think a lot of people would agree with the fact that Pokemon cards are some of the most overpriced things out there. Look at this Beedrill, though. This artwork, like, who did this? Who, who made this artwork? Uh, oh, there, there's, the, there's the artist right there. Water, Wataru Kawahara. I totally said that wrong, but it's beautiful. I, I love that card. We got Wormadians, we got Department Store Girl, what? We got a Bronzor Reverse, and a Pelipper. Pelipper the bird, I don't know. We got another Heart Gold Soul Silver Pack. Um, so yeah, I don't know, it's just... Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking about Pokemon and like... Not Pokemon, obviously I'm gonna be talking about Pokemon. This whole video is about Pokemon. Um, but I'm gonna stop talking about like, you know, the card aspect of like, selling things and store stuff. Just for now, because I want to enjoy this video and focus on the cards. But it was just, it's something that I've been thinking about a lot. And I didn't want to make, like, a whole video just talking about Pokemon card pricing and stuff. But I thought it was an, I don't know, it's an interesting thing to, like, think about. Like, I don't know. Anyways, let's focus on the cards. We got a Steam Siege code. Let me know, guys. Of all the Steam Siege codes that we have given out, has anyone ever pulled a Professor Sycamore Full Art, like, Man, that would be the dream. Like, imagine if you were just watching a video and then you, like, happened to see a code card and you claimed it. First of all, if you were able to claim it, like, that would be a dream come true. Oh, what is happening? What? How is this even possible? I guess, I guess it's possible because, like, this isn't, like, technically, like, a sealed booster box. So, like, obviously, there's a chance that we would be pulling, like, du duplicates and stuff. Typically, you wouldn't be pulling three of the exact same holo card in a box um but since you know these packs could be coming from like i don't know like three different booster boxes or something um <clears throat> there, there's a chance that stuff like that is possible i guess but yeah usually in like a completely sealed booster box the likelihood and the probability of something like that happening is extremely low anyways we got another platinum arceus booster pack another thing that i've been noticing is the old school booster pack artworks they are just, oh, they are beautiful. What happened? Like, I don't know. I feel like they aren't as, you know, pretty as before. Like, I don't know. They, they still do a great job with them. But I just, I feel like, oh, my goodness. Look at that, guys. Reverse Mirror Zapdos G level 60. Look at that artwork. Just, like, t let me take a minute. Just zoom in on that artwork. Holy cow. That's beautiful. And we got a Raichu. Oh, my goodness, guys. This box, um, you know, we, we definitely didn't pull, like, an extreme amount of ultra rares or anything crazy like that, but we got some good stuff out of this box, I will say that, because so far I am, like, just very pleased with how this has been going. We pulled two Pikachus, we pulled two of the old school Pikachus, we pulled a Raichu, we also pulled three Xerneas Hollows. We pulled a beautiful full art card. Like, if we're going to pull a full art card from Steam Siege and it's not going to be the Sycamore, I'm pretty sure the Mega Gardevoir is, like, the second best one. At least in my opinion it is. I, I absolutely love that card. And we have a Hoopa. I think this is a pricey card as well, if I'm not mistaken. I'll s set it off in the back and check later. All right, uh, this is our final. Let's see. We only got a couple packs left. All right, we got two packs of Heart Gold Soul Silver. I want to save this one for last. I, I really like Heart Gold Soul Silver. Uh, let's do... Let's do Stormfront, Platinum Art, actually no. Let's go in this order right here. Alright, so we're going to open up Heart Gold, Soul Silver. We have one more Heart Gold, Soul Silver pack after this. And then we can open up our final pack of Stormfront. And I, I, let me know, guys. Did you enjoy this? I, I really hope that you enjoyed this. I, I definitely had a lot of fun making this. It's not every day that you can, like go out and just pick up some packs like this so i thought it would be a unique interesting video so i, I really hope that you enjoyed it uh, we have a clefairy uh fanfi jinx bill <gasps> bill by the science guy made an appearance metapod energy switch jigglypuff and a persian i'm pretty sure that's our second persian as well all right guys um, i'm gonna be honest with you i think that these old school packs were weighed we did not pull a single hollow out of all of these old school packs like i realized that the the chances of pulling hollows and EXs, or not EXs, but like Ultra Rares, like Level Xs or Primes and whatever, from the older packs is a lot harder, but we opened, like, a majority of the booster box were these old school packs, and we didn't pull a single Ultra Rare, we didn't pull any of the, you know, we didn't even pull a Hollow, so, unfortunately, I have a feeling that these are Wade, but it's okay, 
it was still a lot of fun to open we got some really interesting cards like look at that skarmory that's just that's beautiful and we got a scissor that's that's actually really cool scissor has been a popular pokemon so wait is this a rare it's not even a rare oh my goodness guys i'm just i freaked out too much here is the skarmory to go with the skarmory reverse what 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 skarmory two skarmory one video what or oh, sorry i'm weird i'm just i'm really excited about this this has always been i don't know it's it's fun to open up old school packs Dude, oh my goodness. Are you kidding me right now? I think we just did. Oh, holy cow. Guys, we literally we pulled another Pikachu. And we didn't, like, none of them are duplicates either. Like, these are all, like, new P. That's awesome. We pulled another Pikachu, guys. All right, guys. Even though we didn't get the greatest pulls, I am happy right now. We pulled three hard-to-find, pretty rare Pikachu cards. That is fantastic. I'm just absolutely fantastic oh look at that eevee holy cow that artwork beautiful stuff we got sableye matane yeah Laron, a flower shop lady reverse and a fortress again i feel like we have pulled that fortress already all right final pack of platinum arceus beautiful set by the way there's, there's so much beautiful stuff oh my goodness anyways let's do the card trick three and two Let's see. Maybe we can pull a reverse rare or something awesome like that. We have a Baneri, Geodude, Krogunk, Burmy, Kabuto. A ah, sorry about that, guys. I am super professional, and the camera, or my phone, <laughs> ran out of storage. Anyways, Professor Oak's visit. Manetra. Oh, wow. That actually, that looks really awesome. Look at that. Holy cow. That artwork and lack of focus. Oh, my goodness. There's you. There we go. And a Raichu. Holy cow. Wait, didn't we... Hold up, I to assure you that I didn't like rig the polls right there, that we did get two Raichus. That's crazy, we are doing, I'm actually really happy with how this is turning out. Alright, we got a pack of Steam Siege, and then our final pack is going to be a Heart Gold Soul Silver pack. Here is the Shiny Xerneas, and here is also the final code card for this box, since the last pack does not have a code card. So here is the Steam Siege code, best of luck to you guys. And yeah, let's see what we get in our final two packs. So we have a Fletchling, hold up, let's make sure the focus is in, alright, there we go, Fletchling, Clauncher, Apom, Yanma, Sneasel, Duat, Greedy Dice, Zwilus, Eveltal Reverse, that is actually not a bad card at all, and we have a Drudagon Regular Rare, alright guys, final pack, maybe we can pull at least one holo out of these old packs, come on, I feel like the least we deserve is at least like one holo card, like, Right, right, like, I don't know. I feel like, oh my goodness, that, I, mm. anyways, um, let's see, yeah, hopefully, here are the cards, uh, I think that's, oh, um, hold up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, alright, so, I think I picked up all of them, I don't know if the card trick has gotten messed up, let's just go with it, guys, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta go with the flow, sorry about that, guys, anyways, we have Hitmonchan, a combi. Oh my gosh, we got the cute little Eevee again. We got a Togepi. That actually looks awesome. We got a Raticate, Unknown, Muck, a Rainbow Energy. Holy cow, look at that, guys. That is awesome. And we have a Furret as our regular rare at the end. But you know what, guys? I am not going to complain at all. Let me put the Hoopa, like, over there. But I think we did fantastic with this. Let me put the Lucky Egg there as well. We can do a little recap. First of all, the Pikachu Evolution line has been rev uh, represented in this video. We got Pichu, we got one, two, three Pikachus, we got two Raichus. It's just, it was beautiful. It was awesome. We also got a whole bunch of really cool reverse cards. Um, we didn't, again, we didn't get that many hollows. Um, I, I do, again, I do believe that these packs were weighed, unfortunately. But you know what? That's just the risk you have to take when buying from eBay. And I, I knew that that was the risk when purchasing these cards. So I, I really don't have any right to com be complaining about this stuff. Uh, but anyways, let me go ahead and show you guys what we did pull. Because we did pull quite a few awesome, awesome old school reverse rares, which is not a bad thing at all. We got Dustmore, Probopass, Blastudon, Vespaquin, Eveltal, Manetric, and a Zapdos, as well as the Xerneas, which has the really cool Geomancy attack, and we got the Porygon Z, and then for Hollows, we got a Bisharp Hollow, and then two of the Xerneas Hollows, and then for Ultra Rares, we got a Mega Guard War EX, as well as the Mega Guard War EX Full Art, and two, these two cards are just beyond beautiful. I'm just, I'm, I'm really pleased with this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this, because I had a lot of fun making this, and I, I really enjoyed talking with you guys, hanging out with you guys, it's something that I just, I really enjoy. I'm really glad that I'm able to do this, and I'm really thankful. 
um, that we can, you know, just, you know, open up some old school packs and have fun with it. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Leave a like if you did, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Also, don't forget to check out the Sun and Moon giveaway, because that ends today. We'll be announcing the winners tomorrow. Anyways, best of luck, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.